Eevee popping up. First game against a, a Pokemon trainer. So we actually got a Pokemon battle coming this up. This guy looks familiar. Who is this? This is... Shy Guy. Oh, yeah, Shy, Shy guy. guy. He is um Long Island, correct? Right? No, no, wrong. No, he's um Westchester, right? I think he's Westchester. So, yeah. Ooh, so we have a Pokemon, Pokemon trainer, and we have uh, BB's uh, Lustrous Lucario. Now, Lucario in this game could freaking move, man. Yes, he can. Lucario has an actual down tilt. He has a two-hit in air. Um... <laughs> Like as you, as you can see, like you could just cancel, you get aerial cancel a lot easier in this game. Well, with with Lucario, so you see they're just both resetting neutral a lot, and DV seems they're actually just going back and forth. Now with a wonderful up air coming from Shy Guy right there. Yeah, and uh, Ivysaur's up air is kind of devastating. Uh, yes, you it can, is. You can link it at earlier mid percents, and if you're not if you're not careful, you could die pretty early off the top if you're not paying attention. So. Right now, and and I love how he's spacing out with the um, was it was it called wasn't it called him? Uh, Razor Leaf. Razor, okay. yeah, <laughs> Razor Leaf. Yeah, I love how he's spacing with the Razor Leaf, just trying to keep Lucario out, trying to keep Lucario at bay, and whenever he comes in, he's Ooh, falling up there. Yeah, falling up there. Wow. Like, oh, up wild the Vivi catching him right there with the on back on stage. Vivi is just really taking advantage of the new thing that Lucari has where he can just jump out of Shadow Ball. I mean, whoop, sorry. Or a spear. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. Yeah. That's going to do it. Oh, yeah, the down air to side via the Force Palm. Busting out the Charizard. Yeah, I mean, let's see if he gets he get secure this kill with Charizard. Oh, but man. One, one drawback about that is Charizard is, is also combo food. Oh, you see, he really wants to catch him right there with that down air, which I know does have a huge hitbox. Oh, and, and BB just oh threatening with that forward smash because uh, right now Lucar is pretty much in max rage. And if he rolls into that forward smash, he will die. Yes, he will. Wow, that's a kill throw? Yep. Yeah, it that, is. Yeah, that back throw by Ivysaur. Maybe a little bit suspect DI, but you know, still a kill throw nonetheless. He was at 150%. Yes, and now it is his time to take advantage. And Lucario. Great, yeah, great parried, parried a grab. He parried that forward tilt, max range. Dang. Yeah, try to get to the Razor Leaf and grab firm, not get it. And VB, honestly, just holding it. A heck of a wall in certain scenarios that's just making it really hard for Shy Guy to get in. But right now, you see these situations where his execution just shines every time he gets a hold of Eevee, so that's really good on Shy Guy's end. Yeah, um, the thing about, thing about oh. this matchup is that Lucario, where Lucario struggles with his oh. range he has, he makes up for in power. And uh, I see Shy Guy just trying to abuse the fact that he knows that Lucario doesn't have the best districts, he does not have the best uh, hitboxes. And you're just trying to play around that fact, so he does. Because he, he doesn't want to get, you don't want to get one of the blue cards in this scenario. No, you don't. Uh, <laughs> there it is. Very confirmed. Yeah. Yeah. The thing about that is, uh, you have to shuffle through those Pokemon, and Squirtle in this situation probably isn't the best. Vivi, it's like you said, like Lucario has some really good movement, and Vivi is just showcasing it so well. He, if you notice, he's just constantly moving throughout the whole match. He's never really just stationary with Lucario. Yeah, he's playing a lot of hit and run. Uh, it just seems like he doesn't want to box with some of these characters, especially something, some a character like Ivysaur. You know, he gets stuff like out of shield, back air, falling up oh. air in his face. Not something you want to deal with. Make his way back on. Wow, so, so good for Vivi knowing how to do that. Really well, because I know if I was that, if I was Lucario, I'd be bashing into the floor. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and I look like that shield poke actually. Um, that was a shield poke. Yeah, it looked like it. Uh, I don't know if he dropped shield. I or think he it. dropped shield. Either way, it was. Either way, it's a good falling up there. Good recognition by uh, Shy Guy. Right now, um, quick string. Oh like my I said, gosh. fifty-seven percent off of two up airs, man. You got, you got the up tilt. You got two up airs. Oh. Calling out that landing, but Shy Guy um, delaying his landing, so he wouldn't get Oh, what a good parry, but no punish off of it. Takes the time to get out. Now Vivi's just getting another hit. This could actually be the deal. Oh, that was, that was, that was so oh. funny, but didn't get what he was looking for. Now you can see Shy Guy is kind of just swinging right now. That's kind of what Vivi wants in this. Yeah, he's keeping his distance. He, know, he knows what Vivi wants. If Vivi wants to jump into him with the Aura Spear and get oh, a back Oh, boy. Him. So smart. Oh, that would have been a confirmed, but learning from his first stock. Yeah, and oh, that's going to kill him. Yeah, that was bad, yeah. Um, yeah. It looked like you died that straight up. And um, if you die that straight up, you're going to die. So, uh, no, great recognition by Shy Guy. Definitely. Uh, and that's what it looked like that would, that's what BB was trying to get away from the whole set. Um, he knew that he didn't really want to box. He didn't want really want to box with him like that. So he just kept poking. He's kept, he kept playing a lot of hit and run. 
And um, that one situation where he didn't hit, play hit and run correctly, he went for that hard confirm, and he got grabbed, and he got, you know, um, mind whipped. So, you know, good stuff by Shy Guy. And you can just see that both the players is uh, constantly just evolving uh, during this match, during that match in particular. And but like we were mentioning before, where uh, he, he noticed the, how Vivi got that one confirm on the first stock. Mm -hmm. And then towards the last stock, he, he's just like, nah, man, you're not catching me with that right now. And just took advantage of the situation, so good stuff by him. Yeah, it looked like he was out of the percent window, and also um, yeah. to get out of that, you could hold down and away. Mm -hmm. So it just looked like he immediately held down and away as soon as Vivi went for that down air and yep. got out of it. And um, yeah, but right now we're, we're going to FD. And he's starting off a Squirtle. Yeah, kind of just like last game, yeah. Yeah, Squirtle's crazy. Um, Cause he can rack up crazy damage. He's kind of like a mix of like Pikachu and Mario in a sense. Excuse me, um, Pikachu and Diddy Kong in a sense. Cause he ha he has um, he has decent range. He has oh. decent multi. That almost would have hit. He would have exploded. Yeah, he would have exploded. <laughs> okay, yeah, now I'm interested to see how Vivi is gonna come at this one again, this matchup. Yeah, I mean, you know, Lucario doesn't really start playing the game until his numbers are orange. So. Right now, this is still within his range to play the game. Damage. Man, yeah, like just like that, he racked on a quick 30% off that one grab. Now they're even, literally. Oh, and, and he, okay. <laughs> oh. Ooh, yeah, these hard reads by Vivi. Um, okay. Yeah, better DI. Oh, <laughs> yeah, and that was great stuff by Shy Guy. Um, he, was, he was reading Vivi's early recovery because he's been doing that since game one. Yes, he has. Yeah, nice. Nice forward smash read by VV. And now Shy just try getting that damage. VV retreating up, trying to get that Aura Sphere going. But wow, the back air actually destroying the Aura Sphere for now. <laughs> yeah, um, it's not transcendent like it's not transcendent like Wolf's Laser. So you can stuff it out with projectiles if the Aura Sphere isn't too big. Okay. So damage uh, a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, and a small frame didn't allow him to get that up air follow up. And great, great avoidance by Vivi because he got hit by that twice already. And um, whoa, <laughs> it's like, nice. gonna get scary because the Ivy Sword is out. He gets a hand of him. That's some big damage. And right now, just Vivi on the pursuit. Ooh, see, ah, I want to see Vivi take care of more of his uh, ledge options. Like you know, stick it, stick more to the ledge trapping. Like especially once he's at the ledge. I feel like once he's at the ledge, uh, Vivi just starts like kind of running around trying to guess out the option. Nice. Catches him right there. Yeah, and I understand. I understand the methodology of him going for the forward smash read because you could kill at early percents, but that does sacrifice. Wow, <laughs> that much range. <laughs> you know, forget what I was about to say. Yeah, good stuff. You keep going for those forward yeah. smash reads. <laughs> 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 but yeah, man. Um, yeah, just like that, the game has turned around. Lucara is, is in orange. Uh, it's time to play the game for him. Yep, but we can see Shy Guy does not hit the freaking tip again. And I was, I was about to say better DI by Vivi, but um, yeah, not good enough. And right now he uh, he's tacking on forty nine percent. That up air is ridiculous. Yes, it is. But we all know Lucario taking damage is not a problem whatsoever. It's just feeding him, giving him his vitamins. Shy Guy, right now back to the ledge. Yeah, and right now, Vivi, I think he's playing a little bit more cautious, especially how the, the way game one ended. Exactly. I think he's going to be a little bit more, more right cautious there. with his last stop. Now Shy Guy really has Vivi jumping every time he puts him in the air. Okay, great great patience by Vivi. He's just holding back, charging his Aura Sphere. You know he doesn't really have to approach in that situation. Oh, my gosh. Very good coming from Vivi. Knowing he was going to jump right after that Aura Sphere charge. And, ooh, Charizard. bringing out the Charizard. Okay. Interesting. Oh, never oh, mind. No, no. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. He needs Woo. to switch out Squirtle. He's scaring me. He's scaring me. Okay, yeah. There we go. Oh, my gosh. There he is. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that was a, yeah, that was a frame trap. Yes, that was it a crazy was. frame trap. Because um, only thing Shy Guy probably could have done, well, he could have air dodged in a different direction and tried to mix up where he was air dodging. But, you know, besides that, in that situation, BB had had all those options covered. He could have reacted to anything he, he done. He did off that uh, air dodge. Mm -hmm. Crazy stuff. And Shy Guy being a very precision man, Vivi wasting no time. He's, he saw that and he reacted right on cue. Really good, man. I don't know how he does it. Yoshi's Island. So how do you feel about Shy Guy going to Yoshi's Island right now? Shy Guy going to Yoshi Island? Yeah, bro, Yoshi's. Oh. Can the slant... Actually... It's not a bad idea, because then it eliminates the uh, the um, idea, the ore spear, in a way, 
He can't do it in the corner? I think he can. The Orso is kind of huge, bro. Really? <laughs> it, it, would, it would hit the slant. Um, if he's if he's all the way at like the edge. Yeah, I think I think uh, if it's if he's in enough rage, it just it's just a big consistent ball of nonsense. I wonder I wonder why he did this. To be honest, I don't know. I think um, it has to do with Squirtle because some short characters at the ledge they're ah. kind of hard to ledge trap, and it's, they're kind of it's kind of hard to deal with small, these smaller characters. Ooh. Wow, is that really safe on shield? Uh, if I I think it is. I think it is. Oh, get that throw. Ooh. Yeah, right now, but um, Shy Guy tacking on that quick percent, quick yeah. 88. This, I was going to also say, this also might just be a comfort pick for uh, Shy Guy, you know? Yeah. Vivi has to watch how he's landing because... Oh, that's going to be... Oh, no F smash? Okay. Down air. No. Yeah, uh, and great recovery by... Oh, Charizard. Yeah, great recovery by Vivi. And he's probably going to go back to Ivy any second now. Yep. So, uh, what... What Shy Guy just did there, if I'm not mistaken, he did the special. He tried to do a special cancel into the Pokemon Trainer Switch. Yeah. So he, so he could kind of switch with, like, smaller risk than, than you would just, you know, doing a raw, raw swap. Yeah. Wow. Man. That up there is so good on shield. Yeah, he looks like he's trying to shield poke. You can see his VV shield is low. And right now, Shy Guy's just kind of camping him on the top of the yeah. platform, knowing that VV can go up there and contest what he's doing. It's really oh. woo -hoo. Mm, yeah, Shy Guy not too happy about that. It looks like he caught him in the initial dash and forward smash, though. And right now, Vivi, it's just about that time to get that big damage as much as he can before he actually uh, loses the stock. If he loses the stock. Yeah, man. Like, and you see Vivi trying to make his way in, but Shy Guy is just not making it easy. He's spacing those back airs, shielding right after. Yeah, in this situation, one hit. Shy Guy has uh -huh. to approach Vivi. Vivi's in the lead. That's why Vivi, he's just going back and forth, narrowing and charging Aura Spear, knowing that... Shy Guy has to approach him. He's in the lead, and that can lend him to maybe get a little bit of careless. Oh. Vivi getting a lot of damage on Shy Guy right now. What a wonderful spot dash for Shy Guy. Oh. Yeah. And um, good thing by Vivi holding holding shield. Not gonna kill. Mm -hmm. If he if he dropped and got hit by that multi hit, <laughs> and oh my god. There's no chance for survival. I think even if he held into the wall, he would have gotten impeccable. So that's kind of crazy. Yeah, and, I, and, I, and I'm I'm just liking the patience by BB. So one thing BB is doing a lot better than he was that he was in game one and game two. Um, he's holding center stage a lot better. Um, right now. And, oh my god. That's scary. <laughs> Nice back air to shield just give you your stage. Oh no. Oh, but he doesn't get the punish. Huh. Yeah, and Vivi just abusing the fact that Lucario could easily do the easy land better in this wow. game. Wow. Just holding him in shield and just don't. He was just a did it. Crazy mix up. Just did it. Crazy mix up. We actually didn't see that the whole game, right? Yeah, no. That, that, that's, that's the first time you did that. Yes, it was. Oh, yeah. Keeping the mix, up, mix ups fresh. So. And he's only at 79, so he's going to be doing some damage. Yeah, VB just trying to get started with that Nair. And wow. Good stuff by VB avoiding the up smash. Wow. Back there. Yeah, and well, that's He's still really hitting, him. hitting those. That's still hitting him. Okay. I think he only hit VB because VB curved. He curved on the way to the stage. I think if he would have straight, he probably would have been a little better. I mean, I don't man, know. Yeah, that this one's pretty big, though. Yeah, it is. Um, but yeah, but right now, Vivi's still in the lead. You know, he has a solid 54% lead on Ivysaur. And you know, the way Ivysaur is in this game, you know, a couple up air strings, and he can make this even just like that. But I don't think Vivi is, <laughs> Vivi's not having that right now. No, he is not. Right now, he's just holding a good lead, and he's moving. But, oh, we've seen this before, where Shy gets the hit, and Vivi gets out. Oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. Oh okay. my gosh, no up B? Oh, he's getting a little slot here now. Yeah, right now, uh, <laughs> you know, a couple up air strings, and now he's at uh, 75%. Yeah, man. But not bad for for Vivi. It's a good thing. Or Sphere getting thicker. Okay. All right. Oh, okay, good spot yeah, dodge. Okay, spot dodge, I grab. We might see a Vivi schmix. Oh. Okay, Naring. Naring him back to the ledge. He's scaring me. Uh. 
Oh no. Okay. Okay. That BB having a hard time making his way back. He has to be careful. He's not here. Ooh, so many times. There it so, is. So okay. So so let's so let's talk about that real quick, right? Yeah. So we were talking about VB going for those hard reads and how that that kind of messed him up. And game two, he didn't go for any of those hard reads. And game three, he went for that hard. He went for one hard read F smash, and that whole scenario just happened. He went for one hard read F smash, and died. <laughs> Man, uh, they give me a heart attack. Yeah, man, man that was yeah. Oof. I mean, good stuff by Shy Guy, man. But and it's so it's so scary because anytime Shy Guy got one hit on VB, it was just one after another. Boom, boom, fifty, sixty. Yeah, and I, I was talking about earlier in the, earlier in game three too, how VB was doing a lot a lot better about being patient, holding center stage more, not going for those hard reads because at at a certain time he he pretty much had the lead for that whole game, so he knew that. Shaga had to approach him, and even in that situation, he was still in the lead.